Hello everyone, I am Fetz Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to be here with you and I am so grateful and happy that you're here with me today. I have something that is so fun. You are going to love it. Um, it is using the impressible plates from gel press and a regular plate to create a negative and positive image. So let me show you the end results of that. Now remember, every time you use the gel press plate, nothing comes across as the same. So this is one of them, and I am using the Dina Weekly um, Media Glue. I can't even talk. Hello everyone, I am Betts Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be sharing with you a negative positive image transfer. This is a really fun technique to use. I'm going to be using the impressible square in squares. This is a seven by seven plate. And I'm also going to be using a circle um, gel press plate as well. You could do this technique on any regular gel press for your second plate that you're gonna need for your base actually. This, is, this will work with anything. I happen to want this design in a circle, so I am using a circle plate, if that makes any sense. So let me put this off to the side for a moment and pull out this plate. And I already have it prepped with some acrylic paint on it by Dina Wakely. Um, I have it dried. I did that on purpose because I thought it would be cool. We'll see. <laughs> and this plate is a six inch round. So it's this one right here. If I wanted to, I could just roll out some paint on a regular gel press in an eight by 10 or five by seven or whatever I wanted. But for this, I want it on this size. So now that you're completely confused, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and roll out some more paint on this, a uh, little bit of rosy. Um, this is blushing and then I'm going to roll out some Magneta, it's like a bright pink and I'm just going to brayer this out all right then from here, I'm going to take my impressible and I'm going to use it kind of like a stamp. So I'm going to lay it over my circle gel press plate, okay? Layering it over, little bit of pressure, all right? Then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to lift this off, which is going to lift some of that paint off. Lay my copy paper over it. I'm just using regular old copy paper. Give it a nice press. And I have kind of that funky type image there. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it again after I pull this one up so you can see more of a crisp image. Let me set this aside. Then just on the back of this, I'm going to pull this image up. So it's like I'm killing two birds with one stone in, in, in a way. Just to give you kind of an idea. And voila, now I have that image as well. Let me go ahead and do it again. This time I'm not going to lay any paint down to dry. So I'm just going to dollop on. Actually, I'll start up. My brayer's still wet. So I'll put that down first. Then I'll add in some more color and some more color. This time it's going to be the blushing. And then I will end with some rosy. I like the rosy. It's such a pretty metallic. So the same thing again, only this time I'm not letting my paint dry. So it's just gonna be one layer. 
it's going to create that positive and negative one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop this on first. Grab my piece of paper, and again, I'm just using copy paper. Lift this up. Press it and pull. There's that image in there. And I'm going to set this aside and lay this one down so I can get that other image on this side just to kind of show you. And then voila. So that is how you can use your impressible plates with your gel press plates. So I can just keep, I can go ahead and like pull some of this off, see if I can't get a ghost image off of it. And every time you do, it's going to be something different. So it's so cool. So that one, not so great, but that's okay. We can use the other side, right? All right, so I hope that this gives you a little bit more of an idea on how to go ahead and use your impressible with your gel. Um, I hope gel you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden.